Hi everyone. So I'm back with another Schoology tip. And before I start, I just have to give a huge thank you to Nicole and Lenny who brainstormed with me until we found a way to accomplish this thing. So uh, yesterday, I believe I posted a video explaining how to embed a Google Slides presentation or any Google Doc into an assignment. This would be useful if there was a part of your assignment that was simply meant to be viewed, not submitted. Maybe a reading passage or instructions or a list of vocabulary words, something like that. However, this video is going to show how to create a simple, I'll put it in quotes, material, which is not an assignment. It's not going to be synced with PowerSchool, not graded, nothing like that. Maybe it's just a document that lists the do now or the homework for the night. I'll show you how you can embed it right on your course page as a material and set it up once at the beginning of the year and never have to edit that particular resource in Schoology again. You'll simply edit the document itself like Google Slides and it will update live for you. Okay, so let's say I would like to post daily homework. Just have that up on the board or have that visible to students inside my Schoology course. So the first step is to create a simple Google slide presentation. Right now, it is literally one slide. I have entitled it homework slides, and I created one slide that has, you know, the title, the date, and whatever the homework is. You can make it look however you want. Now, if I would like to embed that as a material, not an assignment, obviously the kids don't need to submit anything here. The steps inside Schoology, now that I have this homework slides document saved in my Google Drive, now I can go to Schoology, open the course where I would like to embed that homework assignment page, click on Add Materials, and click Add Page. Only a couple of things show up to fill in here. The only mandatory thing is the title. I'm simply going to call this one Homework. And in this blank space, there's actually no need to type anything. What I'm going to do is instead click this insert content button. It's that little square with the arrow pointing diagonally in, into it. And I'm going to choose Google Drive resource app. I'm going to put a check mark next to the slides presentation that I created. Let's see if I can find it quickly. Here it is, homework slides. I'm gonna put a check mark right in that box. And now a new button called import popped up here. I'm gonna tap the little drop down arrow and choose import embed. Now on my page, a yellow box appears that's sort of like a placeholder. That's it, I'm done. I'm gonna hit create. So the first reason why I love this embed option is because now when either you click on homework or your students click on the word homework, they are going to see the actual slide presentation. They are not gonna have to click a link that takes them to another tab. So I like that one-stop shopping piece of embedding something inside a material. The other thing that I love about this particular kind of document, if you wanted to have sort of a running list of homework assignments or daily do nows or whatever it was, now I will never have to log into my Schoology course and open up this um, assignment or material rather, and edit it each day to change the homework. I will never have to touch it inside Schoology again. This is linked to my Google Drive, it's live. So if I change the original document, the Google Slides presentation, it will automatically change here. So try and remember, this is what we're looking at, Wednesday, September 7th. If I click on that uh, actual slides presentation where I was working, now, I can you know, keep adding more slides. By the end of the year, I could potentially have a slides presentation with you know, 180 slides with each day's homework, right? So all I'm gonna have to do is add a new slide and make sure that that newest slide is at the top. So here's how to do that. We're gonna tap on the slide thumbnail at the left, and so it's highlighted with the orange box, and I'm gonna do Control C and then Control V to paste it it has created a duplicate. I'm gonna click on slide number one. And now all I have to do is change the date. 
and obviously the homework assignment. So maybe they don't have to do that. Maybe they have to do that. Done. Okay. I've made this change. This is now slide one. The original uh, page for September 7th is now slide two. If I go back to my Schoology page and hit refresh, now it has updated. So all your students have to do is potentially refresh the page or log in the next day and it will be refreshed and they will see today's homework as long as you add that slide to the top. Of course, if they need to see previous ones, now these arrow links are live because there's more than one slide in our presentation. So I hope that this was helpful to show that there's a way to kind of avoid editing inside Schoology every single day when you use that embed feature for a material such as homework or daily do nows. If you have any other Schoology related questions, you know where to find me.